Hi, Assalamualaikum. So, let's see 7A. Progressive wave with velocity 300 meter per second, frequency 600 hertz, and amplitude 20 cm is propagating from left to right. 7A, calculate the wavelength of the wave. 7B, write a wave equation of the wave. For 7A, uh, the, the question already uh, gave us the value of velocity. Okay, so we know the velocity equation is equal to V is F lambda. Okay, so V is 300, F also given 600. Therefore, we will get the lambda of wavelength directly. For 7B, um, write a wave equation of the wave or for the wave. Okay, so here we have the keywords in the question so what's the keyword here guys the keyword here is propagating from left to right okay let's see what uh, i'm highlighting here propagating from left to right is the keywords here okay what it means when we want to write the wave equation it will become y is equal to a sine Omega t minus kx, okay? Y minus, y minus, because the question states propagating from left to right. Therefore, we know the equation will be minus kx, okay? That's the keywords here. I emphasize again, this is the keyword. So, since we know it will be negative kx because the word propagating from left to right. Okay, so if the question um, said from right to left, then it will become vice versa. Okay, so Knowing the general equation is y is equal to a sine omega t minus kx. So obviously, we need to find what's the value for a, what's the value for omega, and what's the value for k. Okay, that is why I put here the value of a is 20 cm. And we change it to SI unit meter. Therefore, we got amplitude is 0 0.2 meter. And omega is 2 pi f. So um, we calculate omega. So we get 1,200 pi radian per second. And K also we can calculate. And after we got uh, all those values, okay, just uh, write the equation and put all the values in the equation. So our final answer will be Y is equal to 0 0.2 sine 1,200 pi T minus 4 pi X. And don't forget the other... Uh, marks for you here is when you write where y in meter and t in second okay so there is two marks uh, for the final answer okay so again i emphasize here why i put minus because the question states that from left to right okay so that is why i know it will become minus ks okay okay number eight what is meant by wave propagation velocity? Okay, 8A, I want you to find it yourself in your notes. 8B, a transverse wave produced in a string is described by the expression y is equal to 0 0.002 sine 30x minus 2 pi ft, where y and x are in meter and t in second. If the wave travels at a speed of 30 meter per second, calculate its frequency. So what I did here is I rewrite again the equation given. Okay, so rewrite the equation. This is the step. Rewrite equation. So compare with the general equation. So if we compare the general equation, we can find the value of a, the value of k, and the value of omega directly. Okay, so from that comparison method, we can find lambda, we can find the frequency, okay, as a question us, okay.
So for number nine, a progressive wave is represented by equation y is equal to 20 sine 150 pi t minus 1.8x, where y is the displacement in cm, t is the time in second, and x is the distance in meter. Calculate the wave velocity. Okay, so again, I use the technique of comparison. I rewrite again the equation given and I compare with the general equation. So, as you can see here, I'm comparing it. So, I will get the value of A, the value of omega, and the value of K directly. From that information, we can get frequency, we can get omega, okay, and final, we can calculate the uh, with velocity lah. so it's very easy eh, the, the, this technique okay. last but not least number 10 a progressive wave propagates towards positive x direction with a velocity of 5 meter per second the amplitude and wavelength are 50 millimeter and 40 cm respectively 10 a determine the wave equation okay basically will we just answer 10 a because 10 b is out of syllabus okay so we're not going to discuss 10 b lah okay so 10 a determine the wave equation okay so as the previous previous question we need to know the general equation of the wave um, before we can write the wave equation so the general equation is a sine omega t minus ks so the question here how do i know uh, minus ks why don't i use plus ks okay because we have um the keyword here so the keyword here is positive x direction positive x direction means if we sketch the graph we can see positive x direction okay so this is positive y this is positive x so positive direction is obviously to the right isn't it so it's obviously to the right Therefore, if it's to the right, then the symbol will be negative, okay? So, that is why I know. Alright, so knowing that, uh, we need to find what is A. So, A is given and it's 15 mm, so I change it to meter, okay? So, to meter SI unit. What is lambda? Lambda also given, 40 cm, change it to SI unit. And for the wave equation, We find we can find a frequency and we find omega from that frequency and the last one we find the wave number okay after we find all this value okay we can substitute it in the general equation so the final answer will be 15, y is equal to 15 times 10 to the power of negative 3 sine 35 pi t minus 5 pi x. Okay, where y is in meter and t is in second. Okay, so don't forget the um, last sentence. Okay, because it will give you another mark. Okay, so that's all for number 7 to number 10. See you again in the next topic. Bye.